Here's the story of child star actors. We were busy kids making lots of bus. I bought a car. All of us had great careers, thanks to our parents, Woo! but wound up getting <laughs> till the one day when our group shared common stories. Well, it looks like everyone is signed in. Um, Jeremy, I think we all know what you're going to announce. You betcha. The time is almost here. Next week, I will be live streaming my one-man show, The Life and Times of Alexander Graham Bell, and I hope you all can tune in. Yeah. Well, actually, I've been thinking about that, and I think we should just go ahead and have our meeting next week supporting Jeremy. So next week meeting will be us watching Jeremy's show. That would be so rad. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay. Scotty, I know you texted me about 30 times last night because you have an announcement for the group. Yes, thank you, Judy. Listen, I'm sorry. I know I kind of went wacky, too, but I was really excited. I mean, I met with my friend from the CGG. He informed me that if you make a tinfoil hat, the government can't track you here. So I should be able to stay on with you a little bit longer this time. I mean, I've heeded his advice and, you know, I mean, everybody can make a tinfoil hat. It's pretty cool. Okay. Get a tinfoil hat. Thank you, Scotty. And I appreciate you looking out for all of us, which leads me to this. I think we need to help our fellow man right now and find a charity that we can raise some money for. I mean, it's times like this that we, we need to think about others. And some of you have emailed me your favorite charity, and I'd like to go through this list here. Uh, Keith, what is Fame Seekers Anonymous? Oh, yeah. So Fame Seekers Anonymous is a group that me and my wife, Pinky, have supported over the years. So it's a group of, like, fan people that they want to be famous, okay? But they take pictures from the nose down because they're just too ugly, but they still want to be famous. So um, please support Fame Seekers Anonymous. Do you dream of a life of fame and fortune, but just don't have the looks to pull it off? At Fame Seekers Anonymous, we believe in likes, not genetics. The only thing ugly is your ugly mug not in a DeLorean. Fame Seekers Anonymous, because there's nothing pretty about being famous, unless you're pretty famous, which probably means you're not much to look at. Okay. Um, Ricky, uh, what is your charity? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's called Help Us Help You. It's uh, a charity headed by Beyonce, uh, Taylor Swift, and Elon Musk. Now, they need people to give to them so they can give back to hurting people. Right now, somewhere around the world, someone is hurting. And this is devastating for rich people. Their guilt is all-consuming. Please give generously, because when 1% suffer, 99% feel their pain. Help us help you, proving as long as the name of your charity sounds good, suckers will donate all day long. No, 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 I don't know. That doesn't sound kosher. No, no, no. What? Yeah, but, um, finally, um, Danny. You bastard. Why can't we just give it to the Red Cross? Yeah, yeah, let, let's just do that. Okay, so any ideas on how to raise money? Uh, Scotty, what was your idea? Well, what if families charged to watch us do a private show at their house and then we act out favorite scenes from movies? I mean, I can do stuff from Christmas Story, aye, but it's okay. And the toy or kid co, whatever. Yeah, how do we do that and still be safe with the coronavirus? Yeah, things? listen, good, good question. We can have families sit inside their homes in front of their sliding glass doors or window, and we can stand outside the window and just act. 
I think it's not a bad idea. I mean, I could act out some of my favorite scenes from the Waltons. And so which one of you guys wants to play John Boy? <laughs> okay. Um, I picked Corey Feldman. Corey? No, that's not Corey. This person is better looking. No. No, no, no. It, it, it's Corey. It's Corey. No, it's not Corey. It's Debbie from Tarzana. Debbie, I can hear that voice anywhere. No. And, and her name is on the screen, for goodness sakes. Okay, no, okay Debbie, Corey. please Corey. stop dialing into our group. Once again, this is a private meeting. I'm, I'm Corey. I'm Goonie. I'm Corey. Okay. You're better looking. Bye, Debbie. I got, hang on. I'm Corey. Gotta go. Corey. Corey out. Totally, Corey. Okay, I'm sorry, everyone. Next, it's about Corey. We have Ricky. Right. Um, <clears throat> so a friend of mine uh, from China has these uh, these um, rubber suits called cock socks. Uh, um, let me get you a picture here. Where's my phone? They're like a big uh, rubber suit. You, you just jump in. It's protected, and it's called a cock sock. Okay, there is no way I am wearing one of those. From China? Is that a good idea? <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't be daft. The suits are fine. He's sending me 500 body cock socks, and I think we can turn them around and sell them. I mean, I'm only paying $5 a suit, and I know for sure we can get at least $50 for a suit. Listen, I'll do it. I have an eBay account. I can do it. Awesome. Okay, so Love why it. did you get the suits for only five dollars? Because they're used. <laughs> oh, what a big job! There's nothing wrong with oh, them. Yeah, they love <laughs> this guy. They're fine. They've been rinsed out and lysoled. And besides, the virus only stays on rubber surfaces for about twenty hours. This that is fine. an awful idea. Yeah. I'm so in. I am so in. Let's talk after the meeting. All right, who has a better idea, huh? Well, as a, matter of fa- as a matter of fact, I do. All right, let's hit it. So, Danny speaking. look, how many of you get these useless residual checks? I'm huh? I huh? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I have a way that we can take all of our combined residual checks and turn them into toilet paper. That's the process takes a little time, but we could get a few hundred rolls out of it. Well, it'll cut your bum. These, these checks, I mean, I actually have one. I mean, you know, I've got it so that they don't leave, you know, any, any flakes in your butt or anything. Hey, Danny, I can help you do this. Okay, Rocky, cool. you've actually wiped your bum with a check. Hey, I've always wanted to wipe my ass with a check. And we can sell those on eBay, too. Used. That's the oh. thing. Ooh. I don't know if to be excited or horrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, any other ideas? Well, I know how to make homemade sanitizer using alcohol and no, a little you, bit use of... No, um, no, use urine. Use Much cheaper. Oh, you know, I don't think I want to have this conversation anymore. You guys are gross. I, you know what? I have a great idea. Why do we take our stuff, whatever is kind of unique to each of us, and we will sell it on eBay. I have these dishes I sign all the time with the line, the dishes, and I mean, and everything. We could sell these on eBay. We could raise a bunch of money. We could raise a bunch of money and take a, make a movie and put all of us in it. Okay. Uh, you know, I think we have some really great ideas. And I will send out an email to everyone and we'll coordinate and get these products out to the public and give some money to the Red Cross. We could sign these suits from China. The cops uh, uh, sign okay. them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Scotty. Scotty, them. it was great having you for the whole meeting. Is there is there anything else? No. Okay. Well, then we will all meet next week at Jeremy's play. Yay! Yay. I can't wait for you all to see it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's end the meeting, and this time, say it like you mean it. Child, Child actors, actors, we were actors, actors, we are. We are. Uh, and, and steam. Lovely. And that's the way we became the quarantine bunch. On the next quarantine bunch, the stage is set for Jeremy Miller's big night under the hot spotlight. Hello. My name is Alexander Graham Bell. Most of you may know me as the inventor of the telephone. 
But my life has so many more details than that. Hey, Emmy Awards, can you hear us now? Chick-wank. You dressed as Corey Feldman? Yes, I am. <laughs> no, I'm a Goonie. I'm a Goonie. <laughs>